Hey everyone, Tarek here from T-Labs. I will start on the channel a new video series to learn microbit, see how we can program it, how we can use this board, and how we can connect sensors and motors to it, and how we can connect two boards together. So we'll learn all those stuff in this video playlist. Microbit, it's a small development board it's size half the credit card and it designed from BBC, the famous media organization with help with many companies like Microsoft and Samsung and mainly it designed at the first to help UK students to enter to robotic world and learn programming and logic and then they opened it to the public for everyone you can buy it and use it you can see the board has some components on each side here we have some components and here there is some components in the first video of this video series we will learn about what is the components exist on the board what is the functionalities i can use with the board itself without connect any other external uh, peripheral so let's start talk about this board you can buy the board by itself and it's around $20 or you can buy it with a kit and it's with a kit it's around $25 to $30 depend from where you are buying it and it comes with USB cable micro USB cable you can see here where you can connect the board to the computer also it comes with, of course with the board and with battery uh, connector because the uh, board need a power to work so you can buy the kit either the kit or you can buy the board by itself of course it's better to buy the starter kit so you can start connected to computer and send a code to it so let's see what is the components on the board you can see here all the components exist on the board and this is board version 2 there is two versions before the version 2 it's very similar to each other version 1 and version 1.5 and this one is the version 2 the main difference between version 1 the old one and version 2 it's the new components it's the same size everything is similar and it's high compatible to each other especially like when you are writing a code but in version 2 there is more component in this series we will learn program microbit using version 2 let's have a look on the components on microbit version 2 board so here you can see we have two patterns and those are like input uh, devices to interact with the board if you want for example to execute a specific command or send something or choose something you can use those patterns to select option also there is another pattern but it's it's touch pattern which is the logo this logo it's like a pattern but it's touch and it wasn't exist in version 1 it's introduced in version 2 and you can use it as a pattern also there is lead matrix 25 leads as a matrix 5 by 5 and those lead matrix can be used to show something like put something on output show number show letter when you show something it can also be animated like can for example show a phrase or word or big number like four digits or five digits and it will be move on the lead so you can see it also on the first side for the microbit we can see also there is series of pins that can be used to connect external peripherals to the microbit mainly there is five pins usually used in microbit you can see here there is a gnd which is the ground there is a three volt which is the voltage you can see here also the voltage that microbit use is three volt not five volt like other microcontroller and um, we have also three pins pin number two pin number one and pin number zero those are the main pins usually used in microbit on top of that we have 20 other pins which is those and those usually used to connect more peripheral to the microbit we'll have a look on details on those pins later in this video the last thing in the front side we have here the mic microphone we have a hole and also we have like a sign for microphone this sign it's a, it's like a lid and it will turn on when we start recording audio or when the micro beat capturing audio it start to turn on and this hole it's to allow the sound to enter to the micro beat so this is from the front side of the microbit. For the other side of microbit, we can see here there is more components. 
the first components here is the USB port. USB port, it's a micro USB port, and this port used to connect micro bit to the computer or other devices like tablet or iPad, and it's used to flash the code into micro bit or even to supply a power for micro bit. We have power switch, and this is a button can be used to reset the micro bit or even make the micro bit enter to sleep mode when we hold it for five seconds. We have power LEDs here and it indicates that the micro bit it's working it's turned on also there is another led here it's yellow this led is flashing when we flash a code into micro bit another thing we can see here it's the power connector power connector it's to attach a power supply to the micro bit and it should be 3 volt so we can supply power to micro bit either from usb port or from power connector the microcontroller, the brain of microbit, it exists here. This is the processor. It's ARM Cortex type uh, microcontroller. And here where everything happening, like if we need to send a command for LED, this processor usually sends a command to other stuff or also receive data from external peripheral or receive data from microphone, from buttons, from anything. Everything here happening in the processor. Also, we have sounder where we can generate sounds. Microbit can generate sounds, can be used for alarm or produce a music. Also, we have accelerometer and this is a very important device. This sensor can have a lot of use. Like for example, it can be used as a compass, magnetic compass. Also can be used as a magnetic sensor. Also can be used to calculate the acceleration. We can know if the microbit is tilt on the left, on the right, if it's uh, go up, go down. So this sensor is very important and has a lot of applications, which we will see in this course. Also, we can see there is a microphone chip. This chip actually it's connected to this hole. So when the sound enter to this hole, it's calculated by this chip and send it to the a processor. Also, microbit has antenna that can be used to send radio signals either to other microbit boards or to computer can communicate with other devices using a Bluetooth low energy and version 2 use Bluetooth version 5. On top of that, microbit can be used to sense some other signal like light. There is a light sensor which is exist in those LED matrix. So this LED matrix can be used also to sense for the light. Also, microbit can sense for temperature. So you can see there is a lot of applications can be applied in this board using just the built-in sensor and components on the microbit. The last thing we can here notice in microbit there is notched edge here. Those notched edge wasn't exist in microbit version one. It's introduced in microbit version two. Okay, let's now just go quickly and see what is the difference between microbit version one and microbit version two. I already talked about some difference here, but let's see in details. The old version here is called current and the new version called lattice. And here is the first side and here is the second side. We can see here from the first side, there is no microphone. In version 2, the microphone exists, but in the version 1, it wasn't exist. The logo, as we said before, it's touched in microbit version 2, but in microbit version 1, it wasn't touched. So it's just like normal logo. Also, the notched edge here. This notched edge used to make microbit connect to crocodile connector easier. So when we put a connector here, it's hold it very tight. For the other side, you can see there is a big different there is the led the power led it wasn't exist before and it exists in the version 2 microphone it wasn't exist before also the speaker it wasn't exist also the switch button in the old version it was used just for reset the micro bit while in version 2 can be used to make the micro bit enter to sleep mode not just this also in the new version there is a lot of enhancement in features of the micro bit so here is the list of features exist in microbit and how it's a change from version 1 to version 2. You can see here in version 2, microbit it's used the newer version of Cortex ARM and RF microcontroller. Also the flash memory is doubled. The RAM it's multiple 
8 you can see here also microphone speakers logo touch it wasn't exist in version 1 but in version 2 it's added also for each connector in version 2 that it's notched edge i2c we will see how we can interact with i2c later but it's in version 2 it's dedicated just for i2c while before it was shared with other stuff um, wireless the old version was used version 4 for bluetooth but in version 2 it's used version 5 bluetooth low energy to send radio signals power as we said there is a buttons that can be used for uh, make the uh, micro bit enter to sleep mode the available current it's very important uh, enhancement in version 2 in version 2 you can micro bit can produce 200 milliampere and that's make micro bit be able to control more peripheral more than the old version which was just produced 90 milliampere uh, motion sensor is the same software and size it's the same here for software microbeat can be programmed using different language the official language which is make code and a specific version of python called micropython can be used to program the microbeat and also javascript so this is the official language that's offered by microbeat organization on top of that microbit can be programmed using other languages like scratch and c++ and even can be can use arduino ide to program the microbit let's have a look now to the pins in post version 2 and version 1 so you can see here there is very similarity between version 1 and version 2 pins microbit has six analog input pins can be used to connect sensors to the micro bit like temperature sensors or light sensors or any other sensors can generate analog signals also we can see here there is i2c pins can be used to connect devices that work using i2c here we have ground the ground ground and also the voltage as we said it's 3 volt or micro bit the main difference between version 1 and version 2 as we said before is the notched edge connector also how lead pins exist in version 2 and version 1 so you can see here those co lead columns that's used to control the leads it's different between version 2 and version 1 but everything else it's very similar let's now do a quick demo to see how microbit it's working i will back to microbit as i said microbit need external power to work and we can provide power either from usb cable we can connect it to a computer or other devices like tablet or um, ipad or even mobile or we can just connect battery to make the micro bit work it's need three volt and it can be provided using two batteries triple a batteries i already have battery here so i will try to connect now micro bit to the power so when we connect the power you can see here the red light it's turned on that means the micro bit now it's working and i can now start do some work on it i already have a program in this micro bit which show some stuff on the lead matrix so if i press pr button a you can see here there is a chip like this also when i press button b you can see it show number five if I want to reset micro bit, I can just press on this button. So I will press it and it will reset. I can start again, number five and the other ship. This is everything for first video for micro bit. In next videos, we will see how we can program micro bit using computer, using tablet, using iPad, and also we'll learn how we can use make code programming language for micro bit it's a graphical programming language can be used uh, to program micro bit and even some other boards um also we'll see in this video series uh, how we can connect micro bit to other external peripherals like uh, sensors motors and other micro bit boards if you are interested in this course please subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for other videos thanks for watching see you later bye bye